god, guys. Yes, it is a very rare custom stronghold that they added in the 1.497 Minecraft update. Oh my god, guys, we found the end portal. These are some of the most hilarious times people have cheated in their Minecraft speedruns. This is where our first runner spawns. In this situation, what would you do? Probably chop the nearby tree or try to find a village or something. But instead, this runner runs straight to a shipwreck in the nearby ocean. Not suspicious at all. He doesn't find anything good in this chest, but somehow he knows to go to this other chest where he finds a ton of crazy loot and a potion of water breathing, which is just not possible. So he uses this potion and then uses a dolphin to quickly swim to a ruined portal. It seems like he wouldn't be able to use such a big ruined portal to enter the nether, but he finds a ton of obsidian in the chest, which just isn't possible, and so is able to make a little portal of his own. Once he's in the nether, the runner quickly finds a fortress, where he stumbles upon a diamond blaze. Yeah, that's exactly what these are. When he kills one, it drops diamonds. So he just kills a bunch of these as they spawn and gathers a ton of diamonds. Oh, and they also drop blaze rods. Of course. The runner is able to get full diamond gear and all the blaze rods he needs, so he's able to go gather some ender pearls. He finds a bastion, but he can't seem to find a single piglin to trade with. So he has to find another bastion, which this time luckily does have some piglins hanging around. So he gets all the pearls he needs, but everything goes wrong when the runner makes the mistake of opening a chest. <laughs> He's cornered by the piglins, but luckily still has fire resistance from a potion he drank earlier. And so he makes a quick escape through the lava. Okay, so he continues with the speed run by building a portal to return to the overworld. But before we see what he finds in the overworld, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, the famous mobile game that is totally free for you to play. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. You can explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on Raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Okay, let's talk about the three coolest looking raid champions. Starting now, Coffin Smasher. I mean, look at this guy. Tell me you wouldn't be scared to fight him. Second is Skimfos the Consumed. I mean, everything about this dude, his face, his name, it's undeniable. And finally, we have Harvest Jack, a Halloween champion who is just so cool looking. This month, Raid has just released a giant new feature, Awakening, and a brand new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. If you can defeat defeat the Iron Twins, you'll be able to awaken your champions, which allows you to choose a powerful blessing that transforms how they perform in battle. But wait, here's the big news. Raid has just released an upgraded version of the champion Death Knight, and the best part is everybody can get him for absolutely free just by logging in for 7 days before October 27th. You can also use the DK Rises promo code for a bunch of free items, and if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen screen, and you'll get a whole load of unique free bonuses worth a total of $30. Once you download the game, all of your rewards will be waiting for you right here. Okay, back to the video. So, once the speedrunner heads through the nether portal, he ends up in a village, something that is very convenient for him considering he still needs beds. So he gathers some beds and then finds a diamond golem. He couldn't at least come up with something new. He uses the diamonds he gets from the golem to craft an enchanting table and enchants his gear, something that must be be a first for speedrunning. He then locates the stronghold and immediately walks right to the portal. The rest of this run is normal, so let's move on. This next runner spawns right in a village, and in a house's chest, he finds a flint, which normally wouldn't be out of the ordinary, but the smithing table here shows us that this is a toolsmith house, where flint cannot spawn. It only spawns in Fletcher house, and in this village, he finds one, two, three, four iron golems, way more than should naturally spawn in a village of this size, as the number of golems is based on the number of village houses, so he gets all he needs from the village and then swims through this lake, remember this for later, in order to get to a ruined portal, where he finds a ton of insane loot in the chest. He finishes the portal and heads into the nether, where right next to his portal we can see a space in the ground that clearly was a portal that was broken by the runner, showing us that he has already been here. He finds a fortress next, which he doesn't get the achievement for entering, and when he finds a spawner, there is a ton of blazes, way more than should naturally be here considering he just showed up. He 
he gets all the blaze rods he needs and then finds a chest with obsidian, which just is not possible. He heads into a bastion next where he finds a ridiculous amount of gold in some of the chests, which he trades with some piglins and ends up getting a lot of pearls, a pretty impossible amount. Next, the runner heads to a very specific spot in the bastion and builds a portal, which brings him into a random cave in the overworld. No, that's not right. So he heads back into the nether and back through the portal once again. And now he's back to his portal that he originally entered the nether with. Strange. He heads back to the lake from earlier in the run and mines straight down, right into the stronghold. And once he's in the end, all of the crystals are already gone. And so the runner is able to kill the dragon super quickly. This next runner spawns right in and before even chopping a tree, he runs directly to a humongous village that he clearly already knew the location of. And I guess because the village is so big, the runner thinks they could get away with there being eight iron golems. Wow. In the village's blacksmith, the runner finds exactly 10 obsidian, the required amount to build a portal, and some other pretty good loot. He leaves the village, but notice how it's already nighttime, only a few minutes into the run. Something that is strange, considering it's supposed to take 10 minutes to switch to night. Nearby, he finds two lava pools right next to each other. And even though he already has the obsidian from earlier, he decides to use one of the pools to make a portal. Remember this for later. He finds a bastion right after entering the nether where he finds netherite in one of the chests, which is perfect considering there's a smithing table right here. But of course, it isn't possible for smithing tables to spawn in bastions. What a surprise. The runner grabs some gold and finds just a couple piglins to trade with, which seems like it wouldn't really work. But surprisingly, it does. He's able to get 20 ender pearls fairly quickly, which obviously isn't possible. Using the obsidian he found earlier in the run, he builds a quick portal and heads back to the overworld. But wait, he never went to a fortress when he was in the nether, so he doesn't have blaze rod. Oh, wait, but he does. The runner must have cut his recording when heading through the portal, and now all of a sudden he has blaze powder that he didn't have before. So he's able to make eyes of ender and head into the end, where he doesn't even bother breaking any of the crystals, as he seems to just be able to kill the dragon right after it perches. Hmm. This next runner spawns in an absolutely terrible seed with no visible structures nearby, but for some reason decides to continue this run instead of resetting for a better seed. This decision makes more sense when the runner runs right to a village, where he finds a ton of diamonds in the chest of a normal village house, something that is obviously not possible. The runner finds a second village very close nearby, where he's able to find a ton more diamonds, and in one of the chests, he finds a potion of levitation. So he eventually makes the strange decision to drink the potion and floats upwards quite a bit. What? what what is he doing? Oh, all right, that makes sense, I guess. So the runner proceeds to destroy all of the crystals, but he needs some blocks. So he cuts the recording and all of a sudden has plenty. All right, that's, we're done with this one. This next run starts out normal. The runner loots a village and then just a couple minutes in, he cuts his recording suddenly and then just continues playing. But if we look closer at the footage, we can just barely spot in chat that he looked up the coordinates of a ruined portal. Right after this, there's a few more jump cuts that are slightly less obvious. These were most likely just to help the runner find the ruined portal, which he eventually mines straight down and right into. He grabs some obsidian from the portal's chest, which he doesn't get the achievement for. After this, I'm pretty sure the runner just realizes he doesn't have a flint, and so all of a sudden the chest has a flint, which it didn't before. And so he heads into the nether, and wait, all of a sudden this is no longer the original speedrunner playing. It's Illumina, a famous Minecraft speedrunner. Well, at least this one is creative. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you enjoyed.